I'm Jasmine Brooks anchoring our team coverage tonight from Central Dauphin High School. This is where Johnson was a 10th grade student celebrating his birthday this week. We are hearing from police within just the past few hours with an updated timeline. Let's break it down for you right now. Here is what they're saying around 820. Police say Justin Johnson told his father he was going to play tag with friends closer to 830. Justin seen on video running past his house down an embankment. That's when you can hear the fellow students saying he's running back to Africa. Just minutes later, Justin is seen on camera returning to his house. Police say he doesn't look distressed or harmed in any way. The police say he doesn't seem like he's being actively chased in the video. Let's go to 930 PM. Justin's dad tried to call him, but Justin didn't pick up. When he got home just before 10, he found Justin unresponsive on the floor. He called 911, began CPR himself, and police responded shortly after with EMS taking over. Justin was then taken to Hershey Medical Center. At 11.53 p.m., Justin was pronounced dead at the hospital. In this updated timeline, police say there is no indication anyone else entered the home. And that brings us to the surveillance video shown on social media and circulating school officials are aware of it and they say they're also aware of social media reports showing that Johnson may have been targeted for racial harassment by other youths. Take a listen to this. We understand that the circumstances around Justin's death have not been determined. However, there are social media reports that indicate that Justin was subjected to racial insensitivity from classmates. We spoke to Justin's father, obviously, who is shaken and upset, and he says he remembers, of course, that very last conversation with his son where he was told that he was going to play a game of tag with friends. We're going to head now and uh, continue our team coverage now, starting with Elise Person. <laughs> Well, Jasmine, today I spoke with Justin Johnson's father. He was visibly shaken and tells me he's still really trying to process everything that happened Friday night. Friday night, he came home from work to find 16-year-old Justin laying face down on the kitchen floor. And he actually walked me through what his final conversation with his son was. He said, all right, Dad, I'm going to go with them and I'll be right back. And before long, he called me and said, Dad, I had to run real fast to get the way and come back. That was the last conversation. Security footage shows some of the last video of 16 year old Justin Johnson before dying of a cardiac arrest. You can see here in the video a group chasing after another boy. That boy identified by family as Justin Johnson. Justin's dad, Orville Johnson, says after his son called him saying he had to run away from the group, he couldn't get in touch with him. And I came and I saw his phone. I'm getting ready to pick his phone up to confront him upstairs. Then when I look over, I saw him face down on the ground over there. Orville says he immediately called 911 and began doing chest compressions until emergency crews arrived. Justin was taken to Hershey Medical Center where he later died. They just never seen my son since. According to a Lower Paxton Township Police Department crime watch, a police investigation was initiated immediately. Orville says he recognized the group of boys in the security footage. The Monday, previous Monday, those kids was here and they knew each other from school. And the latest information from police is that Justin left the home to play tag with his friends and then was seen on security footage re-entering the home unharmed and not in distress. Police say this is still an ongoing investigation and they offered also offered their condolences to both Justin's family and friends. I'll send it back to you to Jasmine. Elise, thank you. We wanted to know who was Justin Johnson. For that story, we go to Kennedy Miller. A truly a tragedy and this is where it all unfolded. Now Justin's friends and family right now grieving, but they're also remembering who Justin was. They say a smart and quiet kid who was just excited to start his new journey here in Central PA. It's heartbreaking to think about what happened to Justin Johnson. He was young, just a few days shy of turning 17. The sophomore came from Jamaica less than two years ago and attended Central Dolphin High School, but unfortunately his new journey took a turn 
for the worse. I never heard of nothing negative about myself. And I don't know where this came from. Johnson spoke with pride about his son, describing Justin as a smart, quiet child who always wore a smile on his face. And he was also passionate about football, fitness, and education. There's two things that when I come home in the evening, I can hear about is what he did in the gym or Miss Lavada, his teacher. Those two things, I'll hear that going into my bed. He just never stopped talking about those two things. A harsh reality for the family as they navigate through life without their son by their side. Remember I can't Justin. continue without Justin. That's just, I just don't know how to survive without Justin. And now we're going to go to TJ Anthony. He was in the community today speaking to community members. TJ. I just want to give you an idea about how much Justin Johnson's death is impacting people in the community. One lady that I interviewed, she actually cried afterwards. Now she lives in the same neighborhood as Justin, but never met his parents, nor has she ever met Justin. I mean, people, they are understandably really grieving his death. Overall, people, they, they say that they agree with the fact that the 16 year old died too soon. We understand that the circumstances around Justin's death have not been determined. However, there are social media reports that indicate that Justin was subjected to racial insensitivity from classmates. Dennis Gatanga and his wife received that voicemail after they dropped their child off at school. That voicemail is from Aaron McConnell, the Central Dolphin School District Superintendent. It comes after the death of Central Dolphin High School student Justin Johnson. I got shocked because uh, when you you have kids out there, you have to ask yourself questions. Is it my son? Is it my daughter? They said their son goes to Southside Elementary School. Depending on the outcome of the investigation, Lillian Abuga says it could impact her child going to Central Dolphin High School. When it comes race, we really need to choose a school. It comes as one school in the district was named one of the most diverse in Pennsylvania. Many that live in the area feel the same way after learning about Johnson's death. It was very disheartening. I was disappointed and you know, it bothered me. I was just totally upset. I felt really bad that uh, Justin can happen. The community wants to know how and why this happened. We really need to dig deep. Now the case is on the police side. Uh, we're gonna wait. And that's something a lot of people, they just keep saying, they really want to hear what the outcome of this investigation will reveal. We will be following this very closely. For now, live in Lower Paxton Township, TJ Anthony, CBS 21 News. Jasmine, back to you. Thank you, TJ. And so tomorrow at Coons Park at five o'clock, there is going to be a vigil for Justin Johnson, who would be celebrating his birthday. Meanwhile, a GoFundMe account has been set up by his family so that they can have help with funeral costs, raising more than $1,500 so far. For that link and the full story as we continue to follow this, go to CBS21.com. Back to you.